Hey everyone, it's McMage here, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. In the last video, we visited Villa Maggiore, and we learned a little bit more about Gwen's backstory. Um, we need to upgrade our kitchen, but for now, Gwen's gonna show us some advanced loom techniques, so... Gwen, I'm here. Stella. Hey. Hi, Gwen. You know, when I accepted that promotion at Global, I genuinely thought I could succeed. And I almost did. If it weren't for my sickness, I could have made a difference. Mm. When I moved upstate, I had to have my piano and my sewing machine transferred. So I just stayed thereafter to avoid the trouble. Everywhere I went, everywhere I, went I ran into the Macmillans. Chad always wanted me to go out with him and his friends. But I never happened to trust them. They're douchebags. Mm. Well, I just don't use that word lightly. Interesting. I thought you were going to teach me how to... Weave. Not hear about a douchebag named Tr Trad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> I was gonna say trash, and that would have been really rude. Anyways, hang on. Hang on, Gwen. Okay, I'm done. Hey. Look at that. You're a natural. Why am I not surprised? You've reached a pro level now. There's nothing more I can teach you on the subject. Hey. That being said, and if you don't mind, I'll give it a go myself. It will definitely help me unwind a bit. Request completed. More than meets the eye. Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, I know. No one likes a tolls banging. He'll stop soon, maybe. Yay! Okay, we're not gonna cook anything. We're gonna feed everyone, and then we're gonna go off. Sh oops, off ship to check out the fields. You don't want anything. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna water my plants and then we're gonna go off. Off boat. Onto land. What shall I plant? Uh, let's do more carrots, I guess. That should be fine. Perfect. I'm down. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go off ship. We'll explore the fields. Oh, a visitor. Mm. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. Mm. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Mm. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? I don't know why I turned British, I guess. Anyways, let's start right away. <gasps> Greetings from Furugawa. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. I really like that... Oh, sorry. I won't get too close. I like that they're like white slash cream and then like pink peach Whoa. love the music over here the rice production here is quite incredible workers harvest around the clock to feed local families right now no one is around i'm not sure why i sometimes play in them when i am off duty but that's besides the point off to our next stop i love how daffodil is like hidden <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to sneak up on you like this. Whoa, look at your trees. How pretty. Oh, I can cut this one down. All right, you can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection, a strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that would be great. I also feel a connection to this forest. And the connection is that it will give me the wood that I need to make Summer Sanctuary. Jump. Don't worry, it'll grow back. What the heck? A toll? I'll be picking up some wood! Hoping to do some work on these later. Okay. I will also be picking up some wood. And I will also be doing some work on these later. Perfect. Back, forth, back, forth. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, mushroom. 
This fortune tree is the centerpiece of this whole island. We are not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Alright, this concludes our tour. Kodogawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. Appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. Okay, sure. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. You're welcome. Request complete. Greetings from Furugawa Tours. Sheep. Strawberries. Sheep. How cute. Kind of sad that there's no limestone. Oh, whoa. Can I... Hello? How to up. I want to up. I cannot up at this time. Oh! Shiny. What is it? What is it? Ooh, uh, citrine. How fancy. Well, I think... <laughs> I think I'm gonna go find an island with limestone. Hi, Atoll. Bye, Atoll. Just gonna head back to the boat and work on my crops, do some late night fishing, and I'll see you guys fairly soon. Oh, hi. I thought you like disappeared, disappeared. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. I won't. I might. When I took a tour. When? 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 I took a tour. Well, well. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to make you hungry. Thanks. I love it. Oh, you wanna talk? Got some fiber I bought. No, I don't want your fiber. You can keep it. It's okay. If you're hungry, that means everyone else is most likely hungry. Oh, I'm sitting down. Did not mean to sit down. Summer? Hungry? Would you like veggies? Oops. Press the wrong button. But I guess I can press that button. Um, I'm just gonna work through the night and then we're gonna go discover a new island. So I'll be right back. We're gonna weave all the fiber I have right now to make more thread to make a toll's home. And then we will hopefully also make Summer's home in the process. That was really bad. And we're gonna travel to some other crates just because crates. And then we're gonna go over here to Mount Toriyama. And then we're gonna go over here to the Iwashima countryside. Might stop by Francis real quick too. But yeah. Oops, I'm going this way. That's about all that happened, really. So let's build our sanctuary. And then a tolls workshop. A tolls workshop is so very annoying to deal with because it's such an odd shape. You know? So I thought if I could move stuff around like this that it would work. But I guess not. So we'll see if I can put it don't know where I'm gonna put it. Cause it's like I need this whole space up here for it, basically. Um Can I move you uh, over? Hi, Francis! I gotta get to him now because I chose to travel to somewhere else. <gasps> Something new! Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've just got a new errand for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. A new errand, you say? Oh, I get maple syrup. If, you, if I give you a sockeye salmon and a sole. I don't have any of that, but I have a lot of things for you to buy off of me. And then I'm going to buy everything off of you. Bye, Francis. Since I'm down here, I'm just going to eat everyone. I guess. Helps. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I forgot you don't like scallops. 
I apologize. Mm. I apologize. You don't like shellfish, and you don't like fruit. Forgot about that. She said, oh, how wonderful. Hang on, Summer. I'm gonna collect these. I'm gonna move the ship, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you, okay? Give me just a second. Fred? She asks. Questioningly. Okay. Uh, let's actually go here since we're close enough now. Perfect. Uh, summer, summer, summer. I have like five million things in my mind. Incredible, Stella. Wood. Plants. There's even an all-natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. How oh, well I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask you. It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level, just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun. Living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough. And it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach about all of the interesting properties of each one you bring to me. Okay. Cool. Iwashima, countryside, discovered. How fancy looking. They also got a little mountain. Request complete. Laying at the ley line. Oh, why are you upset? What happened? Why are you so upset? Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine. Your request. The diffracted cabinet. Oh, I like your house. It looks cute. I don't want thread, but thank you. Um, what should I make? Shrimps. Why not? Okay, we're gonna see if I can build a toll's house and stick it somewhere. <laughs> this is gonna be harder than I thought. See, okay, hang on. Can I move this and then put this in like this tiny little gap <laughs> and then move this here and then put the kitchen in that tiny little gap? And then, oh, it won't fit. Hang on. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Put this down here, because it's smaller, I think, right? Yes. Beautiful. And then, oh, perfect. I can fit the loom down there. Then I can fit this right there. And then I can build a Toll's workshop. Oh, amazing. I love playing Tetris. Would you look at that? It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little... For little one me. That really confused me. I don't know why. I can't wait to catch some shut-eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. You're welcome, Atoll. Oh my god. It's cute. I like it. Did I stop? No. Oops. Sorry, I thought I had to exit out of something. Haha. Uh -huh. Can I help you? Okay. Um. Let's water and then check out this countryside, shall we? Alrighty. Countryside time. I love the. Whoa, can I get up there? Nope. Give me tree. Must chop down tree. I love that Daffodil just, like, swings around. Daffodil's doing his best. Daffodil's really having a time. Oh. Can I make it? No, I can't. <laughs> I tried, okay? Oh, hello. What I love about spitting is the talent you need, you know? It takes real skill to find a target aim and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Interesting. I could spit off tall bridges 
bridges, I could spit off tall buildings forever. On the off chance that I might hit someone right on the head. You seem to never run out of spit. This small bridge isn't very high up, and nobody ever swims down there. Still, it's pretty satisfying to spit. I'm fully equipped. I've got my mouth. I've got my bottle of water. I'm ready, and I've got the spit to do it for years. That's kind of weird. Friends, but uh, whatever you say. Whoa. Fancy owl statue. I like it. Can I cut? Oh, I can. Sometimes I can't tell which trees I can and cannot cut. And so it scares me every time I like walk up. I'm like, ooh. Will I be able to do it today? Oh, <gasps> strawberries. Hi, Atoll. Picking up some wood. Oh, you're hungry. Hang on. Okay. Uh, ba 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 What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> yeah! Oops, sorry. Atoll, we're not on a ship anymore. That's technically the service on this land. It's incredible. But... You, you, never mind, never mind. It's okay. It's fine. Oh my god. I didn't know I was breaking anything. What'd I get? Limestone. Love to see it. That was weak. Stella, do it again. What is this? Copper ore. Oh, that's it. How exciting! Bye, Atoll. I'll see you on the ship. What a cute little countryside. With two weirdos that like to spit off bridges instead of tall buildings. Gonna have to somehow come back for this thing. Maybe I can jump higher in order to get it? Um, can I swim? No. Is there anything over here? No. Sorry, Daffodil. <laughs> Didn't mean to send you flying. Okay, before it turns to nighttime to where we can't get anything, we are going to travel. We're so close to the Everdoor. Wow. What's up here? Why is this here? Oh. The cult stand mines. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. We discovered that when we visited the villa. <gasps> I'm missing a chest. However, we can't go there because of this little blue line. It's like ice and the ship can't pass it. Just yet. But hopefully soon. We'll need an upgrade from Albert. Uh. Eventually. We should go visit Albert soon, actually. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I visited Albert. Ben, how you doing? You hungry? Got some fiber I bought. Do you want it? No, thank you. Do you want a hug? Hmm. No. Hmm. I oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. It happens every time too, I don't know why. I've got planks, he says. Oh my god, an apple seed. Where the heck do I plant an apple seed? Alright, go, 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 go. Only have so much so much night time left before it's too dark for me to see. To navigate. Please. Please. We can make it. I know we can. I believe in us. Um, what should I cook? Stew shrimp, because we are running out of shrimp cocktails, I believe. Right, I got a glim bottle. Don't mind me, just staring at all the things I have. I guess we'll make more things. Wait to see if we're gonna hit the... Not the countryside. The mount. In time or not. Oh, we might. Oh, we made it. I'm so proud of us. See, the good thing about the planks is that I can back out anytime I need to. Like... Mount Toroyama discovered. I know it's nighttime. Oh, you can see Charon in the background. Hi, Charon. Okay, I know it's nighttime, but we're gonna go explore regardless. 
and then I don't know, come back and do more chores, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, fancy music. Beep. Oh wait, was there something over here? Oh, a tree. That's it. Okay, cool. I don't want to miss anything in a new area, you know? Oh, that's awkward. Oh! Hello, spirit. Oh, hello there, young lady. How are you doing? Oh, yes, right. Perhaps you can help me. You must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the loose down there. I tried getting it back into its enclosure, but the stubborn creature wouldn't listen to me. Chance is on your side. Its weak spot is its gluttony. So it will definitely follow anyone who would feed it. Would you be a deer and give it a try? Um, okay. New request, one sheep, two sheep. Haha. Uh -huh. Hello. Is this its enclosure? This poorly fenced in area? What are you supposed to feed sheep? I guess I'll feed him a carrot. Oh my god, he's running! Is this your enclosure? I'm guessing so, since you're no longer following me. Oh! Hi, I did it! Oh, back so soon! I'm always happy to see you, sweetheart. But don't let me hold hold you back from your adventures. What? But you just told me to... I'm confused. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, what a nice sheep. It followed you all the way to its home. Always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? <laughs> My sons were just like that. Don't you think it looks lonely? Maybe that's why it left. I'm going to keep it company, don't worry. But maybe... Well, if you found another stray sheep, could you bring it back here? They could entertain each other. Well, if it is not too inconvenient for you. Oh, I'm Alice, by the way. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too, Alice. Have you found another sheep? I'm happy to keep you company, but another sheep would probably be better company than a silly old lady, don't you think? Okay. Well, I know there's another sheep in Hummingburg. And was there another sheep in, uh, not the countryside. The, what was it called? The fields? Was there another sheep in the fields? I genuinely can't remember. We'll find another sheep. Where the heck? Smack. Smack. Oh, that was really sad. Smack. Ooh, coal. Up. Ooh, more coal. How exciting. That was really lame, Stella. Sorry to say, but it was. Oh wait, slate. I thought it was coal. Beautiful. What the heck are we supposed to use slate for? Chest. More apple seeds. And an opal. Interesting. Oops, oops. I let go the second that it broke. I promise. Okay, I know it's dark, but can I go this way? No. Okay, cool. Can I go up? I can. I'm so smart. Wow. Oh, I got a doll. Ceramic figurine. That was such a long drop. That was so scary. <gasps> Copper? I kind of like these mines, I'm not gonna lie. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> we lost Davidel, though. That's awkward. Sorry, Daff. Just kidding, Davidel found us again. Hi, Daff. Oh, a door. Oh, wait, could I go up? Up. Oh. No, I can't. I can go up here, though. Daffodil, can you join me up here so we can sit on the chair together and be all cute? Wait, I don't want to be on this chair. I want to be on this chair. Daffodil! Nice rock. I'm pretty high up, so I don't know if I want to jump, but I might. For funsies. I love you, Daffodil, in case anything happens. 
Can I die in this game? Up! Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, no! There is a thing! Oh. That works. I honestly expected to die. Wow! That was so fun. Alright, Alice, I'll find you a sheep. And then I'll be back. I will find you a sheep, Alice. Don't worry. I think I'm actually gonna go do that. Since it is nighttime. So I'm gonna do my chores. And then I'm gonna be on my way to first Albert's. And then to Hummingbird. Um... Oh, I can make a foundry. I don't have any room for a foundry. We're gonna go to Albert's. We're gonna wait for the night to be over. Then we're gonna go to Albert's to hopefully upgrade the ship some. And then we're gonna go to Hummingburg to pick up a sheep. And I'll be back. All right, everyone, welcome back. We have officially made it to Albert's so I can upgrade the ship. Um, I didn't do much except play a lot of music for the plants. Like, I sat here for a good while before I realized that I was playing for the wrong types of plants. Because I needed more linen thread um, in order to get the mailbox and just to generally upgrade the ship. But now we can and we're gonna have a grand old time. Hi, Albert. That's a nice garden. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Let us in and you'll find out. <laughs> that was a very, very bad joke, Albert, but thank you. Okay, first and foremost, we're getting this mailbox. Secondly, we are going to get, we're just gonna generally upgrade it, should we? Or should we get a bigger boat? Oh, I have enough money for everything, so it's okay. Beautiful, look at that, that's amazing. Okay, thank you, Albert. How kind. All right, Francis. New request. You've got mail. Okay, I can now build a windmill, an orchard, and a sheep corral. But in order to do any of those, I need to build a foundry, which means I need planks. Which means I have a lot to do behind the scenes before I can do anything else. Hi, Atoll. Hi, Francis. Take all of my things, please. Thank you, Francis. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> didn't want to talk to you. I'm so sorry. Bizarre, if I dare say. Take your odd seed and I'll take all of your models. Thanks, Francis. Okay. Yes. Did you forget about that kitchen? It really needs to be improved. I didn't, actually. I just need to get materials for it. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt it wouldn't I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it. And I would never have met you. She taught me. Not as one normally teaches, but by opening my eyes to what was already within. To the rich interior life, unquashed by the dragon. Unquashed by my father. To the interconnectedness of all things. To the universal love. My god, Atoll. That was such a high jump. This immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. Huh? Okay, we're gonna read our mail. A letter from Albert. Oh wait, wrong button, sorry. I'm gonna read our mail, and then I'm gonna end this episode here. Stella, make sure you change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. Pen pals are the best pals, everyone knows that. Albert, your local shipwright. Well, that was a lot. There was a lot going on. We're learning a little bit more about summer now. Which is cute. Love Summer. She's slightly annoying, personally, but she's very cute, and I do feel very, very bad for her. But we shall see what happens in the next video. 
for now. Please be sure to like and subscribe and ding that cute little notification bell unless you already have, then don't you dare touch it. And I will see you all in the next video.